up guys welcome back to another video of louisiana outdoors tv in today's video we're going to be talking about how i have been able to pull some bass out of the water in the month of february early february because fishing has been pretty tough where i live and um, i've managed to catch a few so stay tuned if you want to learn how you can catch some bass right now all right you guys so this has been what has been able to pull my fish out of the water this is a black and red jig as you can see um and i find this one of the really good techniques to catch fish right now because it's just a perfect imitator for a crawfish because in the winter time the bass are feeding on crawdads and this thing imitates it perfectly because once you throw your bait in the water um the, the, uh, the skirt flares up and it this crawfish uh, trailer just imitates it perfectly and it just looks amazing and the bass have been killing it lately so the technique that I find that is good to catch the fish is flipping with this jig because if you find any type of cover and you flip and there's a fish on it um, a good bit of the times they eat the jig um, if they're biting um, one reason flipping is a great way to catch fish right now is because the bass aren't really moving right now. They're very lethargic because the water temps are cold. Um, right now I'm not fishing mainly because it is freezing. Um, Louisiana is getting some crazy weather. It's going to be like um, 15 degrees and snowing. That's insane. That's probably the coldest I've ever had in my life. But um, that's besides the point. That's why I'm not fishing right now or I would be fishing. But in the wintertime, bass aren't moving, so they're staying under any type of cover. They're sitting on trees, brush, getting under boat dock, stuff like that. And they're waiting. They're not hunting. In some scenarios, the bass are hunting, but most of the time, they are just chilling on a log and waiting. So that's why flipping a jig is a really great way. Um, I usually would throw this. This is a 3 8 a three eighths ounce jig. That's mainly what I use. I don't go any heavier or any smaller. That's usually the perfect size. I throw this on a heavy rod. Um, I throw this on a 7.6 heavy with a 7 5 to 1 gear ratio reel just so I can power them fish out. Um, I love throwing big things. Um, this is actually a great way to catch some big fish in the winter time, guys. All right, guys. So now I just want to go ahead and give a big shout out to my new sponsorship, Woo Tungsten. Um, a couple, like a month ago, I was, they asked me to be a part of their team, of the Woo Pro Staff team, and I proudly accepted that. Um, I just want to talk about Woo for a little bit. Um, I don't have any Woo. This is the only product I have right now, but soon I'm going to be ordering some weights. Um, Woo makes high quality tungsten. You're probably thinking that I'm just saying this because they sponsor me, but I watch a lot of YouTube videos on Woo, and I have friends that use them. And from what I've learned, Woo is a great company. They're, they're really, really known for never chip uh, tungsten because if you guys don't know, tungsten is an amazing weight and um, they have the great quality. And a lot of times you can buy tungsten for about six or five bucks. Cheapest is five, six and seven are like your main price um, and they chip. Why would you want to pay six or seven bucks for tungsten that chips? Um, tung Wu Tungsten, I'm telling you guys, does not chip. If you do not believe me, get your debit card, go on their site, wutungsten.com, and go order you a pack of weights, whatever one you want. And I'm telling you guys, you won't be disappointed. And if you are, comment down below on this video. But if you aren't, also comment down below, because I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. But, um, yeah, go order you one of these shirts too, guys, because they're only $5. Like, this epic tee right here, like, like, look at that. This thing right here for 5 bucks. You can't beat that, can you? I mean, I don't think you can. But, um, yeah, guys, $5. Go order you this shirt. But uh, that was just a quick part of the video. Um, thanks, Wu Tungsten, for sponsoring me. That should... All right, you guys, so now you have learned some good things about the jig. This wasn't a very long video. I just want to say thank you for watching till the end. I hope you learned some tips about the jig. I didn't mention one thing, the trailer. Any type of crawl will really work. This is a Berkeley Chigger Crawl, black and red, as the trailer. And this is also a weed guard that covers the um, it covers the grass from going in there. And the line that I would usually use is either like 
20 and up fluorocarbon, heavy fluorocarbon, or 50 pound braid and up heavy, heavy stuff, guys, because you're flipping in thick cover and you're pounding out the bass. That's pretty much it for today's video. Go check out Woo. Go get some of their products. Test them out. See how you like them. And if you do like them, great. If you don't like them, great. Anyways, um, peace, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. We're almost at 40 subs. Leave a like on the video and enter the giveaway. 200 followers from the giveaway, you guys. Peace.